agriculture agriculture is the art and science of raising plant life from the soil agriculture is one of the oldest activities of humankind and today it includes not only cultivation of crops but also domestication of animals agriculture is the most basic resource as it provides food clothing and shelter to mankind study at a glance agriculture types of agriculture major crops and development of agriculture agriculture do you know when humans started practicing agriculture humans started practicing agriculture in the ancient period where early humans gathered nuts fruits and roots from forests and hunted animals to satisfy hunger gradually with the development of better tools and techniques they learned to make better use of the available resources they learned to grow crops and that was the beginning of agriculture now let us know the meaning of agriculture the word agriculture is derived from the latin words aga or agri meaning cultivation or tilling of soil agriculture thus refers to the cultivation of soil for growing crops and rearing of livestock crops crops are those plant species which have been selected by humans to be cultivated for their use example wheat rice maize etc livestock livestock includes animals like cattle sheep and goat and birds example chicken that are reared for human use in short agriculture includes the utilities like fishing livestock cultivation of crops forestry etc do you know india is a unique country in terms of agriculture it is because of the following vast expanse of level land rich soils wide climatic variations ample sunshine and long growing season let us now understand the types of tools used by farmers in early days and in modern times the earliest farmers used only simple tools digging sticks hoes and sickles gradually ox drawn plows were introduced tractors with multiple attachments performing different functions were then introduced types of agriculture now we will study about different types of agriculture and their characteristic features in detail on the basis of agricultural practices which include size of the farm tools and techniques used the types of livestock kept and the proportion of the output retained by the farmer agriculture may be broadly divided into subsistence agriculture commercial agriculture extensive farming mixed farming plantation agriculture subsistence agriculture this type of agriculture is practiced mainly to meet the requirements of the local community subsistence agriculture can be further classified as intensive subsistence agriculture and primitive subsistence agriculture intensive agriculture this type of farming is done on a permanent basis on a particular piece of land the size of the farm 
is usually small. The use of animals and manual labor is maximum. The farmers settle permanently and do not move from place to place. They keep on cultivating on the same land holding year after year. The land is cultivated intensively so as to grow two or three crops a year. This type of farming is practiced in densely populated parts of the world, mainly in Southeast Asian countries like India, China, Pakistan, Sri Lanka, Bangladesh, North Korea, South Korea, Japan, etc. A variety of crops are usually grown by farmers because most of the produce is used for their own consumption. Primitive subsistence agriculture includes shifting cultivation and nomadic herding. Nomadic herding. It is practiced by those people who rear cattle, sheep, goats, camels and yaks. These animals are dependent on the natural vegetation in the area. It is prevalent in the Sahara, East and Southwest Africa, parts of Western and Central Asia and Northern Eurasia. Shifting Cultivation This type of farming is practiced by cutting a patch of forest or by burning bushes, etc. The patch of land is cleared and then cultivated. It is also known as slush and burn agriculture. Commercial agriculture. The main purpose is to sell the produce in the market. Therefore, one particular crop suitable for the region is selected by the farmer. It is called Crop Specialization This type of agriculture has two main forms. Commercial Grain Farming and Plantation Agriculture Commercial Grain Farming is mostly practiced in the middle latitudes. This type of farming is done on sparsely or moderately populated parts of the world. Wheat is the most important crop grown in India. Farms are of big sizes, spreading over hundreds of hectares. Most of the work on the farms are done by machines. Tractors, levelers, seed drills and combined harvesters. Extensive Agriculture Compared to intensive agriculture, the amount of capital and labor applied per unit area is relatively small here. It is therefore called extensive agriculture. The main areas where extensive agriculture is done are the steppe lands of Russia, prairies of Canada and US. Pampas of Argentina and Downs of Australia. Wheat is the most important crop. Other crops are corn, barley, oats and cotton. Because of less labor and more mechanization, per person yields are quite high. Mixed farming. It is that practice of farming in which crops are grown on the farms and cattle are also reared side by side. This type of farming is quite popular where the size of the farm is moderate. Cereal crops like wheat, maize and barley are grown. But along with that, 
root crops like potatoes and turnips are also grown. The animal dung is used for fertilizing the soil. Cattle for beef, sheep for mutton and poultry are reared by the farmers. Mixed farming provides greater security than cultivating simple crop over a large area. Farming is done intensively and efforts are made to produce high yields per hectare. Necessary machines are used on the farms. This type of farming is practiced in almost all countries of Europe, Russia, Australia, New Zealand, USA and India. Plantation Agriculture this is basically a commercial type of farming and a monoculture. It is found in the tropical region. Plantation agriculture is that practice of agriculture which is a specialization of a single crop over large estates of farms where most of the work is done on scientific basis. It is a well-managed and organized system of agriculture. Crops like rubber, tea and coffee are grown on large plantations. Large amount of labor and capital are required for such plantations. Major crops. Major crops are classified into food crops, commercial crops and Beverage crops. Food crops. Food crops include all cereals, pulses, oil seeds, beverages, etc. Rice, wheat, corn or maize and millet are the main cereals. Rice. Rice is the chief food crop of the world. It is obtained from paddy which is processed in mills. Bran and husk are used as fodder and also as fuel. Geographical Requirements Cultivation of rice requires high temperature of over 20 degrees Celsius to germinate, bloom and mature. Rainfall of 100 centimeters to 150 centimeters is required. Rice is grown in deltas, river valleys and coastal plains. It is cultivated in terraced fields. Rice grows well on loamy and silty soil which are alluvial and fertile. Production areas India, West Bengal, Bihar, Assam, Andhra Pradesh, Tamil Nadu, Punjab. World, China, India, Sri Lanka, Myanmar, Vietnam, Indonesia, Philippines, Japan, etc. Wheat. Wheat is another major food crop which is high in protein and carbohydrate contents. Geographical requirements. Loam is the most suitable soil for its cultivation. It requires cool weather and a rainfall between 40 cm to 75 cm. The crop also grows well on black soil. At the time of its sowing, wheat requires cool and dry weather. During growth, cool and wet. And at the time of ripening and harvesting, hot and dry. Frost is harmful for wheat cultivation. Production areas India, Punjab, Uttar Pradesh, Haryana, Rajasthan, Bihar are major wheat producing states of India. World Russia, Ukraine, the United States of America, Canada, Argentina, China and India are important producers of wheat. Maize Maize is known as Makkah in India, corn in the United States.
commercial crops. Commercial crops include jute, cotton, sugarcane, rubber, etc. Jute Jute is a fiber crop. Jute fiber is obtained from the bark of the jute plant stem. The jute plant originated in the Indian subcontinent. Geographical requirements. It grows best in well-drained sandy loam and requires warm and humid climate. Jute requires high temperature of 30 degrees Celsius and heavy rainfall of more than 150 centimeters. Production areas. India, West Bengal, Bihar, Orissa, Assam, Meghalaya, Tripura and Uttar Pradesh. World, Southeast Asia, India, Bangladesh and China. Cotton. Cotton is one of the world's leading agricultural crops used to produce clothes. It is an important fiber crop. The fiber is used in making cloth and its seeds give us edible oil. Geographical requirements. Cotton is grown in the temperatures of more than 21 degrees Celsius. It requires rainfall between 60 and 100 centimeters. At the time of ripening, it requires cloud-free sunny days. Alluvial and black soils are best suited for its cultivation. Production areas India, Maharashtra, Andhra Pradesh, Haryana, Gujarat and Punjab. World China, USA, Russia, India, Pakistan and Brazil are the leading producers. Beverage crops. Beverage crops include tea and coffee. Tea. Tea is made from the young leaves of the tea plant. It has many varieties. Small leaved China tea plants and large leaved Assam tea plants are popular all over the world. Geographical requirements. Tea plants require moderate temperature of about 25 degrees Celsius and a rainfall of about 200 centimeters per year. Well drained hilly slopes grow most of the tea of our country. Production areas India, Assam, West Bengal, Kerala, and Tamil Nadu. World, Sri Lanka, China, Japan and Indonesia. Coffee. Coffee is the second largest beverage after tea. The coffee plants are cultivated for seeds and beans which are roasted and sold for brewing coffee. There are two types of coffee plants. Coffee Arabica or Mocha and Coffee Robusta. Geographical Requirements The coffee plant requires warm climate and moderate rainfall. Both strong sunshine and snowfall are harmful to the plant. During its growth, coffee plant requires rainfall of 100 centimeters. 250 centimeters and temperature between 15 degrees Celsius to 28 degrees Celsius. Well drained, sloppy soil is essential as stagnant water destroys the coffee plants. Production areas India, Karnataka, Kerala, and Tamil Nadu. World Brazil and Colombia. Development of Agriculture With the growth of population in the world, 
the demand for food and other requirements also grew. With high yielding varieties of seeds and application of fertilizers, pesticides, insecticides and weedicides, agricultural production has increased worldwide. We can compare the agricultural development of developed and developing countries better with the help of the two key studies of farms. One from the USA and the other from India. Agricultural Development in India Do you know that India has the highest percentage of land under cultivation in the world? Land reforms were introduced by the government to improve agriculture. Under this, the government took lands of big landowners away and redistributed to landless labourers. Modern methods of cultivation were introduced in the country like better infrastructure facilities such as irrigation, electricity and transportation. Agricultural equipments such as tractors, threshers and harvesters, high yielding variety of seeds, fertilizers, pesticides and electricity were made available to farmers at less than the actual price. Green Revolution was implemented to improve agricultural production. Increase in the production of cereals as a result of high yielding varieties of seeds, fertilizers and irrigation is known as Green Revolution. India is a major producer of cereals such as rice and wheat, oil seeds such as groundnut, mustard and sunflower, vegetables and fruits. One tenth of fruits produced in the world are from India, notable being mango and banana. India has made significant progress in milk production. It is the largest producer of milk in the world. A farm in India, a case study. The owner of the farm generally has its residence in the main village. The entire land is divided into small plots. Different crops are grown in these plots. Rice is the main crop, which is grown during rainy season. The farmer also has a few livestock. Cows, buffaloes, bulls, a few hens, roosters and chickens. More than three-fourths of the cropped area is devoted to food crops like rice, wheat, etc. With the exception of a few rich farmers, majority of the farmers belong to the category of intensive subsistence farming. A farm in the USA A case study Farmers in the USA generally reside in the farms. The average size of the plots in USA is much larger than that of an Indian farm. Agriculture in America is managed very efficiently and largely with the help of modern machines. They rely much more on technology than on manual labor. Most of the farmers produce largely for exports as the soil is quite fertile. Wheat, corn, cotton and tobacco are the traditional crops grown in the US. But soya beans, sunflower and peanuts are also largely grown. An American farmer in general heavily depends on chemical fertilizers and pesticides. He uses tractors, seed drills, leveler, combined harvester and thresher to perform various agricultural operations. Summary Agriculture is the oldest 
and most widely adopted occupation of humans. Agriculture is the most basic resource as it provides man with all his needs. Today, we have modernized agriculture and have diversified it into different types like shifting cultivation, intensive cultivation, extensive agriculture, plantation agriculture and mixed farming. Some of the major crops which are produced in most parts of the world are rice, wheat, sugarcane, cotton, jute, tea and coffee. Though agriculture is the main occupation of the people of India, due to the pressure of population, most of the farm holding is meagre. The government is making efforts to bring in improved methods of farming to help the farmers. Though barely 2% of the population in the U.S. engage in agriculture, yet it produces enough to surplus for export. This is because agriculture is carried out on an extensive scale with heavy machinery. The farmers in the U.S. can also get good revenue. More than three-fourths of the cropped area is devoted to food crops.